know, the Durham Museum is housed in Historic Union Station, which was a passenger station for Union Pacific Railroad from 1931 to 1971 when Amtrak was established and all passenger travel was consolidated across the country. And at that point, actually, this building was slated for demolition. And we were very fortunate that a group of concerned citizens um, said, hey, you know, let's do something with this beautiful place. And it opened in 1975 as a museum that really explores regional history and, of course, uh, history of, of the trains, too. Our permanent collection was actually recently updated just a couple years ago and it really explores the history of this entire region. We also have uh, the Dick and, uh, Trish and Dick Davidson gallery that includes actual rolling stock and trains, um, steam engines and some passenger cars so that people can get an idea of what passenger travel would have been like. And so what's really fun, I'm considering that passenger travel is the theme for railroad days this year, people can really get a flavor of what it would have been like when in the heyday of passenger travel as they say. The permanent collection includes everything from the Byron Reed collection, which is a, a collection of rare coins and books, to the Trans-Mississippi exhibition, which was a, a really cool exhibition that was here in the 1898, and so it shows that history, um, all the way back to Lewis and Clark and, and uh, the American Indians. All of that is covered in the permanent collection. We also have temporary exhibits right here right now, and one's from Chicago's Field Museum, and it's called Nature Unleashed. And it's all about uh, major forces of nature, whether it be tornadoes or hurricanes or earthquakes. And so we're finding that families are really having a great time exploring that. And if you come to Railroad Days, you get to see all of that as well as the uh, special train activities we have going on. Council Bluffs and Omaha really have a unique railroad heritage. When you think that we really were the terminus to the West, you know, that President Lincoln established Council Bluffs and, and, and Omaha, because really the rails actually started in Omaha, um, as the, the location for rail travel to start to um, the western part of the country. And so, of course, there's a lot of railroad heritage here, and we're so thrilled to be partnering with other, four other organizations in town to celebrate that heritage um, with Railroad Days this coming Saturday and Sunday.